Hello and welcome back. In part 3 of our Kappa video series, we're going to create the containment and investigation activities from the perspective of a Kappa coordinator or manager from the Kappa we created in part 2. We'll start logged in as our Kappa manager user with the Kappa created in part 2 selected. Remember, this Kappa is for a fictional company that opens a corrective action to address gaps in risk management for the specification. We are going to create Kappa activities to contain and investigate the problem statement. Let's select the Kappa Activities tab. Let's click the Create Kappa Activity button and pause. Here we can see all the Kappa activities currently available in FreeQMS. These activities are already created so that users can get going on the system immediately. All of the activities are built using neutral language and format to adapt many different processes. They do not need to be completed in order and multiple iterations of a single activity type can be created. Let's click Containment. This is the Create Kappa Activity form for the containment type. In the Kappa module, all activity create forms share the same create screen, except for the fields at the bottom of the form. In this case, the containment field is unique. The other fields are universal. Let's complete this form. We will select the activity status as new. This is a new activity we are entering. If this was a legacy record entered from a paper system, we may choose closed. Description. Although containment is fairly self-explanatory, we may want to give more information. Here we'll put, stop units from being built to design specifications that do not reduce risk as far as possible. Assigned to, we will assign this task to our user 2, who will complete the containment of this issue. Start date, we want this containment to begin immediately. We will select today's date. Due date, we want this containment completed by the end of the week. We will select a week from now. The due date will appear as the task due date in the task center for the user assigned to complete this activity. Complete date. This activity is not completed yet, so we'll leave this blank. Legacy record ID. FreeQMS offers the ability to incorporate legacy numbering even for individual Kappa activities. This is useful for large companies that manually number investigations, corrections, and other activities. We will put NA for this demo. Kappa items. Here we see the power of FreeQMS. We can select which Kappa items we will do each activity against. As we only have one item, we'll select that. And as for containment, we've not yet contained this issue, so we'll leave it blank. Let's click the Create button. Great, we're now back to the activity's home screen. Here we can see our containment activity along with summarized information. Let's click the Create Kappa Activity button again, and this time select Investigation and Root Cause. We're going to create this activity as an example of a Kappa task that may be done alongside or shortly after a Kappa containment. We'll fill out this form, but a little quicker this time, the same way as the containment form. Our activity status will be new. Our description will be investigate ISO 14971 deficiencies in engineering specifications. We'll assign it once again to user 2. We don't know a start date since the containment isn't finished, so we'll leave this blank. Our due date will be two weeks from now. We don't have a complete date. Our legacy record ID will be NA. And we will select the same Kappa item. Notice how much time this saves to not have to re-enter or explain the action items each time. We do not yet have an investigation plan, investigation conclusion, or root cause. Remember, we're serving as the Kappa manager. It will be up to user 2 to complete these items. Let's click the Create button. Great, we have our containment and our investigation root cause activity set up. In the next video in our series, we're going to log in as our quality specialist, user 2, and start closing out these activities.